everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a colour and chat and we're going to finish uh, the picture in Halloween Darlings by Deborah Muller. Quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos are made for adults and not intended or made for children in any way, shape or form. Um, we are colouring in this one at the moment. As you can see, I've done the background. It did take me a long time, but I really like that colour purple. Uh, all the pencil work has been done with polychromos. And now we're going to finish it with some... Uh, sparkle gel pens, some metallic gel pens, we're going to be using the Sakuras and the one, I have one black jelly roll glaze in case I want it. So let's get started. I do love a bit of a glitter. Uh, so I got that one and that one but we'll also want Where's the other one? Let me just find them for that one, I think. Yeah, that one. Possibly that one. So it's going to be mostly the golds and the silvers. So let's zoom in and we'll start. I we'll have to start in the, the back, uh, just simply because I'm left handed, so it's best to start this way. So, how is everybody? Um, before we get started, I hope you're all well. We're fine here. I want to say thank you to everybody who has recently subscribed and all my uh, old subscribers. Thank you for coming back and thank you for all the congratulations again on the 1000 subs. It's been nice to see all those lovely comments. So thank you very, very much. I'm using the black glaze on this one. So I've had for a while and I've only used it in one book so far, which you'll see at the end of the month. So, well, yes. Probably should have done that bit last, actually, because it's a bit, uh, obviously wet. <laughs> You're going to do silver skulls, cause, because I can. Yeah. So, I do hope you're all alright and uh, that you're all staying safe and well and things are okay in your neighbourhood. Obviously, I am in South Wales, and Wales in the UK is now in a, a what they're calling a, a firebreak lockdown. It's just to try and ease off on the number of infections, to give the NHS time to cope and deal with the ones they've got in at the moment, because the cases have been rising and the hospitals are nearing capacity. So, But then again, if the Tories would fund them properly, we wouldn't have this issue, but there you go. But at least we get free healthcare in this country, so I can't moan, moan too much. And I've never had a problem with the NHS. I've always had great, great service from people. They've always been brilliant. So fair play to the NHS staff. They deserve a huge pay rise, which they won't get, but they deserve one. Anyway. I, yeah. Uh, I'm not doing much, really. I haven't done any eBay for ages. Well, I haven't had any sales. I've got to do some. I might have to force myself to do it tomorrow, to be honest. It just gets to that point where I've just like, oh, I've made, pro I've made profit, I've, I've hit my target. I really should want to make more. And I do, I've just got to try and motivate myself because I get so tired. What we're dealing with Jennifer and obviously, because she's my daughter and she is exhausting, but she is two and a half, she's full of energy and I am, I am 46, so I'm quite old. But, oh, she's worth it. She's great. She's still got a bit of a cold, which I'm actually getting, but uh, I'm not worried about it. It's only a cold, a bit sniffly, a bit of a sore throat. Yes, I have a bit of a cough, but uh, it's nothing more than a cold and I know that for a fact. Don't have a temperature. I can still smell and taste, so it's all good. If I ever got to a point where I thought it might be that, I would certainly order a test, but uh, or go for a test. But I don't think I need one right now. We're all we're all pretty healthy. I feel really healthy at the moment. It's great, and I think just staying at home helps. Because when I was on maternity leave with Jennifer because we get very good maternity leave in the UK, I'm not going to lie, it just is, it is what it is, we get very good maternity leave. I um, 
wasn't sick the entire year I was off. I was off a year and six weeks. Um, as soon as I went back, and of course I'd been living in a little bubble on my own, just me, and I was going out every day. I was going into shops, but I wasn't um, sitting in an air-conditioned office, and Jennifer was not, well, she was mixing with other kids because we would go to play group at the church, which was a very nice one. Still is when it, when it's running, um, but she hadn't had a cold until she started nursery, and then she got cold, uh, a cold, and she had a constant cold from then on, and of course she'd pass it to me, and that gave me a chest infection. In fact, I had five. Now, fortunately, this time she's been in nursery for a while. I have not had anything like a chest infection, so I'm grateful for that. Because I know if I got one, they'd insist on a COVID test, even though it's not. Um, yeah, I've had not had any problems at all this year. Touch wood and whistle, it stays that way. Even, again, I've, I've been living in a bubble since March, pretty much. Yes, I mean, when they relax things, I went out and I started going in certain shops. But I haven't been doing things like uh, going out in large groups, uh, you know have been to the pub a few times which is which was nice and yeah it, it's things like that I miss going out with Paul for a drink and obviously seeing my mum and dad but other than that we are well so I am not going to complain um. So next uh, colouring chat we'll be colouring in April Amber's uh, Halloween book because somebody requested it and after that it will be Tattoo Grayscale by Jade Summer because somebody requested that as well. I'll obviously wait until after we get through the uh, <coughs> Halloween holiday and then of course we're hurtling towards Christmas and the Christmas colouring books. I know Deborah Muller has got some Christmas colouring books coming out. I've seen some pictures from them on her Facebook group and they look absolutely fabulous. I'm not going to lie, they do. So I can't wait. I cannot actually wait. I'm definitely going to be getting at least one of those. Um, there's still a couple of Jade Summer Christmas colouring books I haven't got in my cart ready and I know they're bringing out more because uh, they've already said that they will start putting them out next month because people have been asking uh, when are their colouring books for Christmas are going to be coming out so who knows it's very exciting I'm trying to finish off some of my whips now which is fine I'm getting there I've, I've I finished one out, last night I finished one um, I've got, a couple, I've got a couple of patterns I've recently finished and I've got I've got a few more on the go but most of the Halloween ones are done the two Beauty of Horror ones aren't I haven't done anything in them so I'm probably do some of that tomorrow night but because I use watercolours uh, well I'm using I've used Neo 2s in the one and I want to use I'm using ink tents in, on, on them as well um it's going to take me a while, so they'll just carry on and I'll just carry on doing them. I might be able to finish the one. It depends on how much I can get done. I'm working on another Deborah Muller book at the moment as well. But that picture is nearly finished. Um, so I'm hoping to finish that one tonight. So there's not much left on that to, to do. So I, I know that there's gaps on this. I can't see it because of my angle. So I'm just going back over it like that. I'm not close enough to If I put my head down so I could see where the gaps are, you wouldn't be able to see a thing because it's not too bad because my head would be in front of the camera. So I'm not too worried about that. I do like this colour from Sakura. It's actually the wrong one. I was going to do that um, metallic and I've done it sparkle instead, but it doesn't really matter, does it? That's me talking and not concentrating. So when I get paid at the end of the week, I start um, getting Christmas presents for my mum and dad. I know I'm getting my mum, and I don't know what I'm getting my dad yet, but then I've got his birthday as well, so... Yeah, it's a bit much really, but hey. 
got to be done. Uh, let's do her earrings next. We'll do that with a metallic silver. And we'll do a bit of uh, glaze as well. Let that dry first though. There we go. That looks all right. Right. Which one's that now? I think it's because the metallic one has got a sparkly looking top. And the sparkly one hasn't. I get confused about which one's which. That's better. But that's okay. Um, we'll give her a... What colour is this? That's a green, isn't it? What on earth am I holding that one for? No, it's got to be the silver. It just looks green. It's the silver. Sparkly silver. Do you know what? That looked really weird then in my hand. It's very strange. Very, very strange. So again, this is again I've mistaken the sparkly for the metallic, but that's fine on this, so it looks fine. This isn't going to be a very long video because there's not a lot to do on it. Which is good, really, because the last couple have been really long. And, uh, you know. So I've only got this little bit on this side to do now and we're done. So it's only going to be about 20 minutes, if not. So a nice short one to finish this off. And like I said, next time we'll be colouring in uh, the April Amber Halloween book. So when I finish this, I'll get that out and I'll start planning which one we're going to do. That'll be using um, the markers. I've actually been using the markers, uh, some markers in the Deborah Muller book, I'm, the other one I'm doing. And um, I've been using a mixture of markers. I've used um, Touch 5, the Arteza Everblends. And I've been using some glitter pens as well, just to... Uh, keep it going you know but uh, yeah it's all good I do love this sparkly gold I mean it's not really gold like the link shine is it's more of a yellow but I really like the color I don't often use the Sakuras because they, they, they're just expensive they're just so expensive so they're sort of like for every now and again, like for doing things like this, not for colouring full patterns like I do the cheap Jill pens. So, like I said, I like doing patterns. Patterns are easy to do. They're very quick to uh, complete, so they are nice. Sometimes, not all of them, some can be really difficult, so. I just, I do like doing patterns. But I, I mean, I also like doing real, obviously, these sorts of pictures as well. So there's, uh, it just depends what sort of mood I'm in. So sometimes I just want a, a pattern because I don't have to think too much about it. I pick five or six colours and I'm like, that's what I'm using. And then the rest of it is all whatever, you know. And then another day I think, right, I fancy colouring in this book. I've still got a ton of Halloween books I haven't coloured in this month. Well, not a ton. As bad. Well, I've got a ton I haven't coloured in, but there's about four or five, maybe six, that I haven't actually done one picture in at all yet. So I might carry on doing Halloween after because some of them are like, like the horror stuff, like the beauty of horror. You don't have to just do it in, at Halloween. That's why I'm not worrying about finishing those two whips off. Um, I'll probably do a bit more of, of them at some point this month but I'm not worried about characters because for me horror films and horror stuff is all year round it's just ones I mean this one could be done all year round really it's just ones that's particularly Halloween so ones with you know pumpkins and happy Halloween on it that I think are more for the actual Halloween uh, time but uh, in general you can colour whatever you want whenever you want <laughs> really whatever you're in the mood for. Sometimes you might want to colour a summer picture in the winter to make you think of summer 
and you know nice weather and it, you know I like winter so sometimes I want to colour a winter picture in the summer it makes me feel cooler I'm not good with a lot of heat I'm better than I was but I come out in a heat rash so it's not good heat rashes are not nice I like I do like this picture I'm really pleased with the way that this one has come out and I've really enjoyed colouring it with you. I hope you've enjoyed it as well, because we're nearly done. And I said, I did the background. It took me ages. It must have taken me about two hours to do the background. So I'm glad I did it off camera, because it, well, it was just me going over with this, this purple colour over and 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 over. Um, so while, yes, that was... I enjoyed it because I find that quite relaxing just colouring backgrounds like that with pencil and I find that with the polychromos they because they layer so well you don't have to use up a lot of pencil to do a whole background if you're doing a whole background like this with the black widows you practically use a whole pencil I guess I've got to try and be a bit more careful when I'm doing with my black widows so so we're, we're just on the end now we've just finished the skull off and put the black glaze on and, and we're done and then I just gotta let it dry We'll have a quick look at it and uh, once the ink's dried I can pop it in my pile of completed pages for the month and you know what I'm like I don't put my completed pages up until at the end of the month so um, Halloween night is actually Saturday so you won't see hauls or completed pages until after that so Sunday will probably be the haul Monday will be weekly vlog if I do it for the entire week because I forgot to vlog today it's Monday today you'll be seeing this on the Tuesday and there's not a lot happening other than the fact that we're in lockdown so there's you know we're staying in the house that's the government recommendation is that you stay inside which is what we're doing there's only so much I can show you inside before it gets boring. So, there's that one. But we'll, we'll see. Oh dear. I'm getting quite tired as well, so I'm glad this is nearly done. I can just sit and finish my other picture then. And then see what the time is when I finish it and go to bed or read a book. Or if there's still a lot of time left, I might start. Um, another picture or try and finish off another whip. If I start another picture I'll probably be markers because it's quicker to do markers. Even though I do like doing other things as well. There we go. I mean it's not even 20 minutes so we've finished. I don't, oh no I haven't done his nose. Oh dear. That was silly wasn't it? There we go there I do like this page so I'm just going to zoom out and show you the whole page so we can see that we, what we've done so there we go we've got some sparklies some metallics she's got red hair a bit like magenta from the Rocky Horror Show or the Rocky Horror Picture Show um yeah I like this picture so that that's going to be it that's it really for this um colour and chat like I said a very very quick one um we will colour in the April Amber um, book at the Halloween Chibi Girls and I'll, I'll sit and pick a picture in a minute ready and uh, that will probably be the last colouring chat for October and then obviously like I said into November we will be doing the um, tattoo grayscale and that probably because it's grayscale that will probably be with the markers. I'm actually going to put my jelly glaze in there because it will fit. So, I do hope you've enjoyed this very, 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 very short colouring chat where we just finished off this lovely little Bride of Frankenstein, or magenta, Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I like her eyes where I've got the red, I've got red lines going through it, so like veins, so you can't really see it, but see if it'll zoom in properly there. You can just see some red in her eyes, it's just where I've put some veins in there like bloodshot um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have uh leave me a comment down below and press like if you're not already a subscriber please uh hit the subscribe button and 
hit the notifications if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!